What's up, party around the world? Here's some quick tips on uh, storing a tent for winter. You probably want to know. What's up, YouTube? So a quick tip when you're uh, storing tents for the winter. Um, if you can leave it at a customer's house after a little bit of rain, or after it's going to rain, it's going to be a couple days clear, just let it sit there for a couple days and dry out. Uh, go pick it up after 1 o'clock in the afternoon a couple days later. Um, this way, it, you don't have to dry it at the warehouse. It'll save you a whole bunch of time, save you a bunch of hassle. If you got an odd size tent, like a 15 by 30, it never goes out. The tent that never goes out, the, tarp, the copy never goes out. Uh, if it just gets rained on just a little bit and you put it away, it's going to get moldy. So you're going to have to dry it out. If you can leave it up and let it dry out, just do that. Say, just make that phone call. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes the customer won't let you. Uh, sometimes it's going to rain for a week. Don't leave it up for a week then and a week for those two days. You're going to look like a jackass. Just dry it up at the warehouse. Or put it, take it down and put it up next week because it might go out later on or try and push it. But that's that's pretty much how that goes when it comes to that. And then when you're mark, leave them. You bring a tent to the warehouse, you want to mark it. So it's wet, dirty, dry, uh, clean. You want to know these things and... Got a bunch of the same tops. So Want to know which one's which? So, a couple quick tips right there. Hey everybody! I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys can like, subscribe, and leave a comment, tell me what you guys want to see more of, or any ideas for videos, or some knowledge you want to see. Don't be afraid to ask a question or anything like that. Hope everyone has a great day.